Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Manashi, do justices on the Supreme Court have an anti-religious bias? Uh, well, Senator, it's not for me to, uh, to, to evaluate the personal motives of justice on the Supreme Court, but I have no knowledge of anyone, any justice having an anti-religious bias. Uh, did General John Pershing execute Muslim prisoners in the Philippines with bullets dipped in pig's fat? Yes, Senator, I think I, I'm happy to, I would like to clarify uh, that particular writing because it has come up. It well, is, could you start by answering it, the question that the I same, asked? Well, I think it's important to provide context because... You can, same, but ask, answer the question that yeah, I asked well, so, first. So, so did Senator, it or did it not Senator, happen? at the time that I had written that essay, I had read that uh, anecdote in a number of sources and believed it uh, to have been substantiated. After 20 years, it does seem... You've learned that, that it's not true and was true then. ...an adequate basis. I regret having repeated it. But do I want trial to lawyers, that. Do trial lawyers feed on the public? Well, Senator, if I could just clarify... Actually, this is my concern. time, so you have a whole world of time to clarify anything you want in the public sphere. I have a very limited amount of time right here to ask my questions. Do trial lawyers feed on the public, and do they not have the public's well-being at heart? Senator, as I explained to Chairman Graham, uh, what you're referring to is an editorial that was published in the New York Sun, which was about a specific dispute in uh, New York uh, between um, uh, different teams of trial lawyers. It does not reflect a considered view. It was not written when I was an attorney. I believe in zealous advocacy uh, on both sides, and I have represented both plaintiffs and defendants and think it is important uh, for everybody to receive representation. Did you laud Christian students at Ohio State University for convincing the university to change its non-discrimination policy to allow the Christian Legal Society to prevent gays from becoming officers? Senator, I think what you're referring to is, again, an editorial that the New York Sun had written where the... Uh, New York Sun wrote it or you wrote it? Well, as the Senate questionnaire explains, I had, out of an abundance of caution, listed every editorial of the New York Sun in which I might have participated, but I think the letter you had received from uh, the New York Sun uh, to this committee explained that it is, was always a cooperative effort that developed a view of the paper, so it was not necessarily the view of any particular individual. But I will say that editorial, I think, did say that the Ohio State University policy that provided for uh, accommodation of uh, religious groups that it had voluntarily adopted. The, the, the paper did say that that was the welcome development. And the welcome development was that gays could not serve as officers. I mean, I forget the details of the specific one, but it was that uh, religious groups on uh, campus, uh, uh, there was additional accommodation for those groups for sincerely held religious beliefs. Including in the way that they gay people could not serve as officers. Uh, that, 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 that may have, I, I, like I said, I don't have a specific recollection of the policies, but that may have been uh, what it was. Are your views on climate change informed by a person named Bjorn Lomborg? Uh, S Senator, I am familiar with that, that, that he exists and has written on climate change. I have not looked at that question uh, for probably... Uh, you know, certainly since being a lawyer. So I, I don't have a strong view about his views on climate change. Are you aware that he is a notorious crank? Uh, I, again, don't have a view one way or the other. Have you compared college affirmative action programs to the Nuremberg Laws? No, so, Senator, that has come up. It is something that I have uh, wrote in college. It, I, I, let me be clear. There is no comparison to be made between... Uh, the Nuremberg Laws and any activity that goes on on a college campus. I did not believe that 20 years ago when I wrote something in college, and I don't believe that uh, today. Uh, some of the writings I did in college uh, were, uh, it, it were writing from the perspective that I thought that it was inappropriate to treat people as members of groups rather than individuals, which was important to me because my family had suffered discrimination on the basis of group status. And if some of the writing uh, was... Uh, overheated or extreme in advancing that view, I regret that implication. But let me be clear, I did not believe then and I do not believe now that there is any comparison uh, to be drawn between the Nuremberg Laws and anything that happens on let a contemporary Let me close by campus. responding to Senator Lee's um, comments about the duty of confidentiality. Um, I'm not completely expert on this, but I've litigated these questions in the past, and my understanding is that 
The fact that you have represented someone is not protected by any duty of confidentiality, nor the areas of advice that you have given them. It is only the substance of the advice that is protected. And so in my view, Mr. Menashe's position that he can't say whether or not he advised his client on the question of family separation is not protected by confidentiality. We can disagree. You said your opinion. I want to make sure that I said mine. Thank you. <laughs>